Good morning. Are you still having problems impressing the world with your stick tricks? Well, don't you fear, because I'm here to teach you advanced stick tricks version two. First up is the reverse catch. So for this trick, you're going to toss the stick inward instead of the normal backwards. So what you do is you take your fulcrum right here on the stick and you just push it up and forward to throw it up one flip and catch it. You can do it with two flips also, or three flips, or eight flips. That was totally eight. So you get kind of the Statue of Liberty grab if you do it like that, which is pretty impressive for a whole drum line to do. And you can do it while playing with one hand. Trick number two, the kickflip. So this one takes some coordination, so I hope you're ready. So first thing you want to do is start by turning the stick back like this, as if you're just gonna kind of drop it. However, you're not going to actually drop it. You are going to use your foot to kick it. Trick number three, the stick roll. this one. You're going to take the stick, hold it right in the middle, and use your fulcrum to press down. And you're going to hit with the bead first, so that it then hits with the butt, and then repeats like 30 times. And you can do it with both hands. And when you get really good at it, you can do a continuous roll. Trick number four the butt buzz. So this is one that'll really catch the attention of that special somebody. Pay close attention. This one takes some skill. So what you're gonna do is hold the stick upright, like such. Then you're going to press down slightly so you get a buzz. And slide all the way down the stick. I'm gonna show you guys at multiple angles so that you really know what you're doing here. Hold it here, press down. Now once you master this crazy trick, you can learn it with the other hand. So you can do continuous buzz roll. Trick number five, the windmill. So for this one, what you're going to do is you're going to bring your stick back and around and flip it behind your back so you can't see it when you actually toss it. And then it should go over your head like such and then you catch it. Kind of like a windmill is what your stick is sort of doing. So you start here, throw it up, back and around and catch it in front of you. So this trick kind of utilizes the reverse catch, which is the first trick we went over because when you come back here, you're using your fulcrum to flip it up, just like when you do it in front of you, doing it back there. Trick number six, the back to front flip. Whee! So this trick has two important steps. One, the back flip, and two, the front flip. So the way you get from the back flip to the front flip in no time is you pretty much just like smack the stick right there to get it back around. And that should get the momentum for the front flip. So back front, back front, you can do it in the left hand, back front, back front. And something I like to do is do an accent or a shot when I hit the back right there and then when I catch it in the front like that. So like ultimate visual and musical effect. 
Trick number seven, the one-handed roll. So for this trick, you're gonna need some impeccable fulcrum strength because that's pretty much all it is, right? So you position the stick like this, all right? The rim is about halfway up on the stick and you're going to press down and then back up. And it's all in the fulcrum. And you're gonna have to play around with it to try to get the least amount of rim tickingness you possibly can. There's gonna be some there no matter what you do, but try to get more head resonance than rim click. Trick number eight, high speed stick clicks. For this one, you're gonna have to hold the traditional grip and you put your left hand in front, right hand behind, sort of like you're sawing the other stick in half. And it's just two motions for this. So the first one I think of like a right tap, and the next one is like a left tap, but coming at you instead of down. So one, two. So when you get faster, you use the momentum and rebound of the stick on the other stick. It takes a lot of practice to get fast, so you'll just want to start slow for a while and just gradually speed up over time. Then you can start doing some rhythms like hertz. You can practice all your check patterns. And you can also do flams with it, it's just really fast. You can do flam taps, flam accents. Trick number nine, walk the dog. So what I'm doing here is really squeezing with my fulcrum in this stick while the other stick hits about halfway up, right about there, and gets a double. Each time the stick hits, it's two notes. And you can change up your fulcrum pressure to get different speeds of notes. If you squeeze a little bit harder, you can get threes. And you can even change your fulcrum pressure mid dog walk to get something like flam drags. And finally, trick number 10, the SWAT catch. So this one's a pretty cool way to end a solo because you just catch it and then walk off like a boss. So what I'm doing here to catch it is you throw one stick up and with the other stick you open this area with your palm and the butt of the stick and you wrap it around the other stick like that. So I'm just catching it sort of in like a, a cross type pattern and my wrist is awkwardly bent it kind of hurts but you only have to do that for like a second. So in slow motion And it will really make it look cool if you do some flips with the other stick and then catch it. So you gotta time it right so that you swat when it's like that. Because if you try to swat it when the stick is vertical, it's, it's not gonna work. So that's all the time we have today for stick tricks. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, EMC Productions. And then, get back to practicing those stick tricks.